one of those jetpack guys, Clancer, and actually you'll use him to fly around. You can literally fly around the whole level, so it's kind of cool. So it's probably one of the first times it introduces you into uh, being able to fly. So yes, these guys, you just, he just pretty much pops out a bunch of minions. He reminds me of uh, mine and uh, Zero Kirby's um, playthrough of uh, Sonic Unleashed. Uh, Big Mother throws out all his little minions, but anyway. Um, yeah, pretty much he does nothing except for punch you, and uh, you can do fun stuff. Throw him in the air, throw him bounce around. Him. He's pretty resilient until he blows up. It's like, jeez, what do you guys put in that? What is in this cereal? Just a little bit of that. Yes, the Clance War. Chili Dog! Clearly does not mean any pun upon. This guy's real easy to get the golden um, jump from. Just grab him, shake him, grab him. You know, for a lot of these mini bosses, that's all that you have to really do. Just grab him, shake him. And this one, actually, you have to shake a couple times. Nonetheless, you know, pretty easy to get the golden gem. Uh, there's actually another boss later on where you can't, you can shake him, but he doesn't give you anything. Um, I mean, he will give you something, but he won't give you the golden gem. I think you have to jump on his stomach or something. I can't remember. Anyway, but yeah, you can pretty much mess with this chili dog. He's not much of a dog. It's more like a centipede or an earwig or. Jeez. What did they put in their animals' dog food? Sure you okay welcome back to the next part of sonic Gun no jeez now i'm all out of it ah, rage in a cage welcome back to part six of the mischief makers commentary so as you heard me earlier raging maybe raging i might just edit that out <laughs> i am not happy so anyway the big chilling snowstorm Awesomeness. Yeah, this this level can tend to be a little um, blinding, if you will. It's, it's sort of hard to see. I mean, I don't know. I played it enough times. I just what all this stuff is. Give me the gems. Physically, there is no point in me putting these gems in there because you gain nothing out of it. Board that way. Cause I can and it's my commentary. So like I said, there's basically no use. You can't shake anything. I don't know why I put them in the pot. No. Transport them around with me. Anyway, those bombs that I pulled out earlier, or I put in there earlier. Basically what this pot was used for. Oh, anyway. So basically, these guys. There's the pot. They teleported with me. Uh, you basically put these guys in the pot and um, to deliver them to the end. It's it's really annoying, actually. Um, but it's funny. Once you actually put them in the pot, they never want to leave. Because <laughs> what I'll have to do is I'll have to go to a higher um, platform and stay up there and throw them out, and they'll keep trying to jump in the platform, but they can't jump as high. I mean, jump into the bomb, since I'm on a higher plane, as you're talking about. Ha oh, ha ha ha, I pun. I pun lots. I make lots of puns. Yes, and they will try to run from you. Sometimes. A lot of them just... It's... It's... it's yeah. Everybody's like, oh look, there's a instant transmission star. Don't use it, it's a trap. Basically, that star just resets the level. I mean, not the level, but, you know, we're all the characters in the pods, and so it's, it's actually pointless. I don't know why they put that there, because 
Who's not going to be able to put these guys in the pot? They don't disappear. Yes, I threw him back in the pot! Get in the pot! And this was actually really annoying trying to do this. Because I was trying to put the pot in the middle. And then every time I pull a guy out, he pulled me to the, he'd push me a little bit to a direction. And then I'd try to pull another one out, and then I'd grab the pot, and it's just very tedious work, and I keep slipping, and ah! RAGE! But see, as you, you can tell, they keep jumping, but that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get it back. They're trying to get back into the pot. And don't fear, they don't die, so you can feel free to abuse the tar out of them. Um, jeez, the golden gem in this level, I never explained where it was. Um, uh, perhaps you shake one of these guys and it might be in there? I don't know, actually. Um, like I said. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this game. Excuse me? Well, this snow is wonderful. I've never seen such beautiful snow. Achoo! Anyway, yes. This is one of those um, awesome uh, things you hear all at once. And I can't think of words today! Basically, this is what I was telling you about earlier. A uh, lot of um, little funny jokes and stuff here that you can see. Even when they're sneezing. That's how cold it is! It's boss time! No, it's adventure time. Quit sneezing! See? Okay, this will be a quick one. But yes, it's cold, and everybody's getting the sniffles, and sick, and... So basically, Lunar's pretty easy. Um, he doesn't do too much, other than, um, shoot gun at you, throw bombs, um do that weird scratch thing. Uh, basically, all you there's only two ways to really hurt him. You can grab him, throw him into the ground. Um, actually, you can grab those um, gems. Uh, I mean, not gems. You can grab his uh, laser fire. Uh, but those bombs, you can either throw him into the bombs, manage to somehow figure out how to get one without it blowing up on contact while hitting the ground, um, or you can just basically grab him and throw him into the ground. So, unless I said that already, but there's three ways. Ground bomb laser. Laser! Cover up! See, throw him into the dirt! Get into the dirt! Give him a whitewash. <laughs> yes, and there's your. So, like I said, not all boss battles um, have. Um, you have to beat the boss without taking damage to get the golden gem. There's just different ways to get it. The old man is no longer here. Some other clans has took him. Special order. I lost you to the snow. Uh-huh. I'm sure you did. But guess what? We're both in the snow, buddy! And I'll still whoop ya! See, I wish you could fly like that in the game. Actual gameplay. Instead of cutscenes. So unfair! The day before. Tomorrow. But what's tomorrow is yesterday. Is tomorrow. <laughs> the guy's just sitting there, minding his own business. And I grab him and throw him off screen. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, all these people will complain to him. Um, you have to talk to him first, though. It's freezing here. I'm going to go follow a complaint. It's freezing. Have I been tricked? I'm going to go check out. Sorry, kids. This, that, the other. No bathroom. Ha ha ha. Jeez. Does it look like there'd be a bathroom? It's not even. Jeez. Who would fall for something like this? Basically, you just go and listen to them. They make complaints and all this. And this guy. And actually, I was doing this with a faulty controller, so I was not happy, and yes, my hands passed the point, so I got back up, and then he just goes, oh, go. Of course, like I said, my faulty controller, I did a freaking roll. And like, I love this, because I get frustrated. I'm like, you know what? Come back here! 
I'll show you who can run fast. Ha! Guess who won? I beat you. <laughs> and actually, you can actually do the slider jump here and still win. Um, there's no actual prerequisite of how to beat him, as long as you can just beat him, but I was pissed. I'm just like, ah! Spike! <laughs> Laser! Yes, um, if you jump rope with these guys, let's see, one, three, four, I don't know, 10, 15 times maybe? Gems? I don't know. Anyway, jump it enough times, you get the golden gem. So, let's, let's watch. It's kind of cool because it introduces a more 3D type feel to the game. As if other things haven't done that already. Yes. And onward, my stallion! Basically, it randomly tell instant transmissions you to a festival. <laughs> like how it says the day before, and all of a sudden now you're at the day of. So it's almost like it transports you to the future. In the <laughs> Not really, just a joke. Anyway, yes, there's white team and red team. I think they didn't say white team and black team because there would be so many things wrong with Enix. Anyway, yes, there's two sides. Um, you end up joining the white team, um, and the prize, as stated earlier, was the uh, the Professor Theo. So yes. Oh joy, the professor! Oh god, why do I keep going over the time limit? <laughs> I need some kind of sensor. Literally, this is all one big video, and I'm just cutting it into parts. So, yes. I'll probably just end it at the end of this level. I'm probably gonna have to edit out my voice. No! Okay, that just disturbs me. Oh, Professor, you're so great! Mm -hmm. Okay, that creeped out even me. <laughs> 